like to teach the bones of the forearm as a pair, the radius and the ulna. So first, let's just talk about why we call this the radius. Do you see this nice, perfect circle? If I show you the, the proximal end, right? This is, this is the end that's closer to your elbow. That nice, perfect circle, just like in math. When you learned about the radius of a circle, remember area equals pi r squared? That's gonna be on your anatomy test, by the way. This is the radius of this bone right here. So we call it the radius, one of the bones of your forearm. The other bone, the ulna, see this nice U right there? Look how perfect that is. All the way across, just perfect. Makes a nice U, All right? That ulna, you can remember the ulna has the U. All right, so radius and ulna. So these two, again, bones of the antebrachium, bones of your forearm, these two sit together quite nicely, just like this. So let me show you a couple parts about how they work together. So at the, your elbow end, or the proximal end, this is the superior end, you'll notice that the ulna itself has something called the radial notch. This is your radial notch because, surprise, surprise, your radius is going to fit right in there. And when we come down to the south end here, right, this is closer to your wrist, we call this the distal end, right here, on the radius, you're going to see something called the ulnar notch. That's your ulnar notch because, of course, the ulna is going to sit right there, nice and neat. So when these two come together, again, making the bones of our forearm, uh, they sit side by side, they run relatively parallel, uh, but of course they have their own parts to them. So again, one at a time. We have the radial head of the radius, we have the radial tuberosity, that's this bump that kind of comes out like this. We have the diaphysis, or the shaft of the, the radius. And we come all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see something called the styloid process. This is the styloid process of the radius. If we look at the ulna, remember ulna has that nice U shape to it right here. The ulna has the olecranon, the olecranon. The olecranon is your elbow. When you rest your elbows on the table, you're resting on your olecranons. We have something called the trochlear notch. We have the coronoid process. That's this little tip right here, the coronoid process. Then we come down the diaphysis of the ulna all the way to the south end here. This is the distal end, inferior end, by your wrist. We have the ulnar head, and then we have the styloid process. So we have a styloid process on our ulna, and again, when we put these two side by side, the way that they're supposed to fit, you'll see that there is also a styloid process of your radius. So styloid process of the radius, styloid process of the ulna. Radius and ulna.